Hi, uh, this is Miriam Escoffe who won the BP Portrait Award on Monday night and we're up in the National Portrait Gallery restaurant and I'm going to be talking to her um, about her background and how she got into portraiture and something about the painting. So, Miriam, can you tell me a little bit about your background in relation to art? Yes, hi. Um, so, I, uh, my father's a painter and uh -huh. I grew up with um, art and, in a sense, a creative process all around me and wonderful art books to just pour over as a oh, child. Wonderful. Um, and I have really vivid memories of watching my father paint and draw when I was very, very young, almost pre-verbal, you know, just being Gosh. completely fascinated by um, just watching him literally draw and his level of skill. Um, so I think I think the language of art is, is, is that as innate become very to me, absorbed. completely innate to me. Um, and that's a real gift, so that's yeah. always been there. Um, and then I was born in Barcelona, um, and we moved here when I was 12, and then I went to school, and I, and I was one of these people that, one of these students that was good at everything at school. Uh -huh. And I was doing very well at maths and physics and all those sort of subjects, which of course the school really encourages you to pursue. So it was a very last minute decision actually to go to art school rather than follow the kind of logical yeah. academic path that and I you went to Brighton, done. is that right? I went to Brighton because at the time when I went to art school, I had a look at the general art schools um, and pretty much every fine art course that I went to see, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do painting or sculpture, uh -huh. one, or, one or the other, because I've always loved making as well. And, um, but all the fine art courses I visited were just completely conceptually led. So there was no yes. making, no drawing, no yeah. painting, none of that going on. And I found it a very sterile and depressing environment. Right. And yeah. just, I just knew it wasn't for me. So I decided to go to Brighton and do a skills-based 3D design course, uh, which was great fun. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot. And then I started painting when I left there, you know, because I was, right. I think probably from watching my father work, yes. I I always knew that art can be very cross-disciplinary mm -hmm. and sometimes it's often better when it's like that. And the interesting thing about your paintings is they have, I've always thought they have a very sculptural sense to yes, them. Yes, yes. They're, they're, they're very 3D. They're very 3D and I'm very obsessed with getting that sense of space in a painting. Uh -huh. um, and I often construct little models or maquettes that then oh, right. become part of the still life set up in a painting. Um, so yes, the making always finds its way in there, whether it's with the spatial qualities yeah. of the work or actually with constructing elements that become part of the painting. And, and, and the interesting thing about the portrait which won the award is um, that one person on my Facebook page um, for the, the photograph I posted on Monday night said, we have two paintings in one. It's yes. a still life and a portrait. Exactly. Yes. And, and there's this wonderful, wonderful, meticulous painting of white china which yes. is so difficult to yes. do well yes um and just sort of completely true to life yeah although it's awesome <laughs> yes yes no no i mean it is very much a combination of still life yeah. and the portrait and i mean for many years i painted I, i've arrived relatively late to portraiture so for many years i painted that's what i wanted to yes, say yeah yes did it go to fine art first well, I, I painted a lot of um, still life paintings. Right. I painted a lot of architecturally themed paintings. Uh -huh. I, I, I've always loved objects and I've always loved, again, the three-dimensional yeah. quality of things, the texture, the sense of space that you get in still life. I mean, still life really is really an exercise in object and mm. space, which mm. is wonderful. Best training for any artist, by the yeah. way. You always do still life. And so I, I arrived at portraiture having spent many years exploring all these different genres of painting which is interesting a lot of a lot of portrait artists also paint still life yes Have you noticed yes yes it's yes, um yes. i've i've always thought it along the lines of they use still life as a sort of limbering up exercise yes of it gets you into and you're not having to paint the subject yes, yet again yes. if you're well, stuck the thing about painting the human figure is that it's so loaded yeah um and it that can be quite crippling for artists and i think if you've had a go at other subject matter mm -hmm. and in a sense learnt, learnt your trade that way then it can free you up to actually get more engaged with the idea side of the portrait rather than to be really really worried about whether you're getting things right all the time uh -huh. because in a sense you know you can do it you're just painting a different yeah. thing yeah. that is more emotionally loaded for us yeah. as people yeah. 
Um, so, so yeah, so my first portrait was actually a portrait of my father that I painted in 2007. Only 2007? Uh, 2007, so I've only really been doing portraits. 2007 starts portraits, 2018 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I know, I know, I know, well. I know. <laughs> and as somebody mentioned this evening, which I hadn't thought of really, how it's a lovely bookend. First portrait of my father. Yeah. Which actually yes. got into the BP Portrait Award. So that was my first entry. Oh, right, because you were what, 2007, seven, 9, 10, 12. When, yeah, well yeah. done. You remember it better than I do. <laughs> Um, and so the last one is of my mother, so there's a nice oh, symmetry wow. to that, which yes. I hadn't quite twigged until today. Um, so yes, that was my first portrait, it felt safe because it was my father, yeah. So, yeah. I, but actually I was really happy with how it turned out, entered it for the BP, got in, so that felt like a lovely sign from the yeah. universe that yeah. something was going right. Um, and yes, that was the beginning of my journey into portraiture. Wow. But, I, but I brought to that all, all the skills that I'd sort of learned yeah. yeah. through all these different yeah. types of painting that I was doing. And are you doing mostly portraiture now? At the moment, it's mostly portraiture. Right. Um, and mostly on commission? I, 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 it's sort of half commission and half my own work. Right. It's always good to do your own work, yes. especially with portraiture, because then you have the license, in a sense, to do whatever you want to do. And you've always got works to submit. And it's interesting that actually the number of people who paint for BP yeah. who are actually painting family and friends. Yes, yes. And and the people who have the time to give them yes. and there's no money attached. There's no money and there's attached. no there's no there's sort no of grief. <laughs> and there's no tension around are they going to like it? Exactly, exactly. So, I mean really as a portrait painter you really want to start with your family and friends yes. because that's your arena to really explore what you can do yeah. and make mistakes if you if you're going to yeah. make them. Um, so yes, so it's always, I, I'm, I'm sort of 50-50 at the moment, doing commissions and doing my own work, yeah, which is a nice balance, actually. And have you entered BP every year and just got in the five times, or have you, no, have I mean, you had a break no, after well, well, the quite, quite last a, one was 2012? Yes, it? so quite a few years I haven't had the right piece ready at the right time, right. Because, I'm, because my painting technique is very slow because I'm using yeah, a lot of glazes, yeah. I don't produce an awful lot of work per year, so often I won't have a piece right. ready or that will have been finished within the time frame that fits all the criteria yeah, that yeah. you know these competitions have. So a few times I have submitted and I've got through to the very last stage of selection but not got in. Um, but yes, for the last few years I've actually missed that window which has been so frustrating. Um. And so I was so determined to get a piece in. And I mean for it to win the first prize is just absolutely <laughs> amazing. amazing. For me for me it was it was odd. Because I, I sort of looked at it and I thought I've seen that before, yes. and then realised I'd seen it last year yes. at the Royal Society of Portrait Painters, where it was your study. It was for the, the pastel, painting. Yes, yes, the pastel. Study and that, and that was fascinating to see the two pieces. Yes. Um, and to see that you you would work up to that level yeah. in pastel yes. just doing the study. Yes, yes. Um, so tell me about your process for so, approaching a portrait. Yes, I mean, so, so, that, the, so the particular process for this portrait was that I started with a pastel study because I've recently just sort of wanting to do more pastel drawings, which I uh -huh. love. I love pastel as a medium. What I love about it, although it's very different in feel to oil paint, yeah. You can work it in a similar way because you can layer yes. pastel, which is equivalent to glazes in my yeah. mind. So that's what I love and that's what I'm trying to explore. So I've come to pastels again relatively recently and now I'm really trying to produce drawings more in the lead up to a uh -huh. painting because I think it gives you a, a, a bigger arena to explore ideas. Which is, and, and really, You can work things out. You can work things out and I love that stuff. For me that's the favourite stage. Because I, I went back and looked at the pastel and I noticed you've got the grid yes, drawn out yes, on the yes, table yes, to keep the perspective yes, right yes. and everything and I thought, ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> But I love all of that. I love I love working out composition. Yeah. I mean, my favorite, the, the, the paintings that I look at endlessly time and time again is the Renaissance period, early Renaissance period yeah. in particular, when yeah. there was that invention of perspective yeah. and that construction of space yeah. married with these kind of religious themes mm -hmm. that, that bring a, a hyper-realism for their time into mm. the work. Mm. But also a very mystical element because you have this yeah. sort of rational side and this mystical side. And that was the other interesting contrast between the study and the portraits, which which is well. Yes. Where everything in the pastel study is static. Yes. And in the oil painting, yes. we have this 
angel levitating yes. or something. <laughs> yes. And and the the dish has yes. moved. Yes, yes, yes. But left a trace. Yes, yes. And I wanted to understand what that was all so, about. So that that's an idea that literally evolved from the pastel to the oil paint. Yeah. And and it was really when, only when I was resolving the composition because I wanted to move the objects around. Yes. Um, because again, it just gave me another chance to yeah, work out yeah, the perspective yeah, yeah, and all, yeah. all the bit that I love to do. Um, and then I suddenly got this idea, actually, because you know, the, 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 the idea for the painting is that although it's very much a portrait of my mother, I really wanted to also convey this idea of the, the universality of the mother idea and the fact that mm -hmm. for most of us, the, the mother figure is the emotional core, yes. the pivotal yes. core of our emotional life because it's the person that has always been there for yes. us. So I wanted to have a very much the center of the universe yeah, in the yeah. pictorial, lang pictorial language of the painting. So all the perspective is leading into to the her, center. Yeah. And then to re-emphasize that, I wanted to introduce this element of time. It's almost like time is moving around her, so she really is the still point. And she is. And she is. And when turns. I met her on Monday, <laughs> I know, <she's> she <laughs> is her painting. <laughs> she is her painting, yes, yeah. I mean, she's the most grounded, yes. calm person you could ever hope yes. to meet. And um, so yeah, so that that was. But I also wanted to make it quite vague because I quite like. I personally quite like paintings that have a sense of mystery about them that you can't uh, yeah, quite exactly. work out. Absolutely. It's something that just keeps you slightly obsessed and engaged. Mm. With what, and I, it also means. And you don't see it to start with. No. It so many people on miss you. it. It creeps up on you. And I sat there going, "What is that about?" <laughs> and then it means that you can then project your own idea. Right? So yes. In fact, for me, what's been interesting is getting other people's yeah. takes on this. Somebody, I mean, really lovely thing. Somebody said to me, he studies theology, and he said it's like mm. the intervention of the Holy Spirit into the painting, which was wow. a wonderful take on it. That's not what I. Somebody said it's the kind of magical reverberation of the angel coming alive, almost like it's moving, yeah. which is which is I got a sense of yeah. the idea. Of. Yeah. But again, it's very interesting to get other people's take on what that means, you know. Oh, and wow. actually, I think it's worth more successfully than I imagined that I did because yeah, I really didn't yeah. know whether people were going to respond to that or not so it's something I want to develop further with other painters yeah. because I think also when you when you paint very realistically like I do sometimes people can get very stuck on that when they view the painting and, so and by realistically can I just say yes. that when I got the digital image yes. from the National Portrait yes. Gallery and I always blow them up so yes. I can look at them really closely yeah. and you can actually um, Miriam has painted the weave in the linen <laughs> yes. and you can actually see it quite clearly in the yes. digital photographs although it's maybe a little less obvious in reality but she has in fact painted yes. the weave in yes. the linen. Yes. So I think, um, which I love to do because I, yeah. lo I yeah. love that seduction, that optical yes. seduction yes. that happens yes. in a painting and but at the same time people can get stuck on that people can get stuck on yeah. oh my god look at the tablecloth isn't it yeah, 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 yeah. and I wanted to add another dimension to the yeah. painting that took people away from that and yeah. engage them more with actually what is the and the fact she's looking on? out yes yes for me made it more oh yes what's going on yes yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, they, because, and also the the title of the painting, which which came to me literally just yeah. out of, again, that has an ambiguity to it, which I like. Because the angel, obviously, the angel at my table is my mother. Yes. She's the angel at yeah. my table. Yeah. But the angel could be the angel at her table. Yes. Yeah. And also the fact that she's engaging with something outside. Like, uh, it could be that there's an angel yeah. present. So yeah. I wanted it to have a, a, a sort of ambiguous yeah. meaning. Yeah. 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 I think you ought to paint groups oh. because there are very few people yes. who can cope with the putting together yes. the composition yes. and the perspective of people. Yes, you know where true. it's a group yes. of people. And yes. I, I keep banging on about we don't see enough group yes. paintings in yes. the BP. Yeah. But I think your skills mean yeah. you would be a natural for. Well, thank you for the so suggestion. That, yeah, that's a challenge. Okay. <laughs> so tell me, what are you going to do with this enormous sum of money? That they just... <laughs> I'm going to. Um, uh, I'm going to probably treat myself to a new bathroom, which I've been trying to do oh, for wow. ages. Um, no, but actually, it will just help me. It buys me a window of time yes, when I yes. can absolutely just work on my own ideas, yeah. which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the, the prize money is incredibly generous, as yeah. we know. It's yeah. a very generous prize money, but. I think just 
just winning the first prize, just what that does. And then you're going, and then of course you're going to have a painting. Yeah in the gallery and, and itself when the they best, ask you to do a commission. That's the best prize of all, to be commissioned to paint a portrait that's yes. going to be part of the permanent collection. It doesn't get better than that, no, frankly, no, from an artist. So, no. yeah, it's and, all, and a few of them have done more than one. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, it's, it's, the whole thing feels completely amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Thank you very much, Miriam. Very it's welcome. been a delight talking to you, and thank you for talk very much for talking about your process. It's been really, really interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.